I'm a dick man. <clears throat> Cause I'm a poop man. Cause I'm a bad man. It's yeah. I'm a shit man. I like to bug him. I like to cook him. I like to lick him. I like to suck him. <coughs> Great, you made it. Nothing pleasant about this coast. This dude is a fucking piece of shit. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. <coughs> These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. I do care about Anne, but I'm tired of explaining myself. Perhaps we should part ways. That's... that's not what I meant. I... We're just not getting answers. I need answers. For Anne. I know. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we spot Rebellion. him. Rebellion! Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Revelio. Wait a moment. Hmm. That's a bit of row or something. Pyrrhicus <clears throat> Titanus. Not your best blood. Let me listen. What are you doing? Confrey. Bombard. No! Rebellion. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. <clears throat> I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. Revelio. Holy crap. 
I bet the Thestral Nest's close by. <laughs> Let me also. Confringo! I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. Let me also. That's something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Kill any of trespass. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Thinking. I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Confringo! Revelio! Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous <laughs> notions of ownership. <laughs> Revelio. 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 I agree. 
Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right. I'm keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. I won't rest. Akio, can bring her. That was meant for me. This must be it. Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, <clears throat> but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing, to find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Revelio. Shut the fuck up and listen. You know, <clears throat> tell me about yourself. I'm a student. Uh, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you to shut up? Didn't I tell you to shut up? Tell me about yourself. I'm a student here and uh, shut up. Shut up. You know what I mean? Shut up. Uh. When you beat the judge of Buddha. You gonna feel a bulldog bite. When you beat the Georgia bulldog, you gonna feel a bulldog bite. So far, so good. Charming. I'll be quieter than a jobber Spiders, how fitting. Accurate. Potato. Ah, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Rebellio. One nudge in that chest might have fallen. Gay ass cow. Oh, I think three nudges at least. Y'all some gay ass cow. Rebellion. Show me in. Y'all some gay ass cows. 
Dodge your hands! It's literally shows your hands! Shows your hands! Revelio. These spiders are determined to make a meal of now us. Now you are speaking my language. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Now you are speaking my language. Akio. Petrificus Totalis. Revelio. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Accio Dittany. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Accio Dittany. Dittany. There's a bottle with, with words essence of Dittany on it. Look at this place. Looking for like, God no, like not really my who knows style. What the inside a of that bag if you like. ask me. Probably a fucking full room. Get Dittany. Finding these chests, luck or insight. Revelio. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Hey, what everybody? Confringo. Here quick enough. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. It's a bottle labeled Essence of Titany. Quick. Accio Titany. A journal entry. We should look for more. Why couldn't she have kept all our journal entries in one place? Sebastian!
Rebellion. Nice teamwork. Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. Confringo. Rebellion. Confringo. Bombarder. Repairo. Revelio. Repairo. Rebellion. That was a piece of work. More than one. Confringo! Rebellion. We couldn't jump high enough to reach that ledge if we tried. Did you find something? A journal entry. Isadora was here. Akio! Indadium Leviosa! Leviosa. Revelio. Inside your ace, you can put one. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs, but the view, well worth it. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Nice work. Your skills never cease to Rebellion. surprise. Another barrier. We can blast through it. I'm certain. Confringo! Uh, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Rebellio! Confringo! 
Bring up. Shit taking a puke. Shit taking a puke. Shit taking a puke. Revelio. Shit taking a puke. Shit taking a puke. Shit taking a puke. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs. But the view, well worth it. Accio, Guardian Leviosa. Another barrier. We can blast it. Bring up. Revelio. Good news. This journal entry sounds worrisome. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us here. Revelio. Another rune symbol. Confringo! As if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Revelio. You do you, baby. Revelio. Okay, Chad. Could this be another area Isadora created? Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Revelio. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Maybe. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more Rebellion. light on all of this. Sorry, Pat. No! I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder. What is it? Let's find out. Bring my brother back, Father. 
But I can give you peace. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. I would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? Unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait?
What do you know about fucking Piri Reyes, man? From fucking Assassin's Creed Revelations, I think. Ah, yes. Yes. Confringo! An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Revelio. If I wanted this to be Rebellion. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here! Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. 
pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. Oh! Oh! Wasn't too difficult. Excellent. I can do better. That. that was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well... He was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me? I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I <laughs> don't want to get rusty, but I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pot me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. <laughs> Not bad for a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself.
I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. May I meet you at your office uh, around 3 p.m.? Uh, thank you. Who needs keys when you don't have them? How's my favourite test flyer? What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint which is the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself. Just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades. Proved the naysayers wrong. Made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn, known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn <coughs> hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. 
And that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat and be warned. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Hazel must be here somewhere. Revelio. Come on, Hazel. Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Remember the fucking our COD clan tag man, Graham? Yeah. Graham. You can't imagine you can how inconvenient travel was before bubble. I invented blue powder. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You've a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. <gasps> Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I Do expected. It. Stop by Spint Witches when you can. Knew Again? Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me.
Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrax, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <sighs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined, repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. 
Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man, but when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, RH. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Ooh. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. You know my brother is serving a sentence in Azkaban as we speak. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. 
I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Oh shit, Sib. Pestily poggers. What the fuck? 